Yes, first of all, congratulations on being the Calhoun's High School Athlete of the Week. Thank you. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about your career at CAK. You're winding it up, and, and you've done so now as the all-time leading receptions leader in, in high school football history. Yes, sir. Across the country, nationally. How does that, how does that feel? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a great honor, you know, um, to see some of the names that I passed on the, uh, the all-time receptions record list is, um, it's, I mean, it's a lot to handle, and um, God's given me a platform that otherwise I couldn't have, so um, I'm very thankful and blessed. Now, coming into this season, how many did you need? Do you remember? Um, I, before it got changed, it was 109, but uh, I, I don't know after it changed. So they actually found somebody that had caught more than you thought going in, so it was actually a bigger hill to climb, right? Yes, sir. So you, you're working through, you get to the playoffs, and, and you start to think, well, we got a state championship to play for. And that took on, I guess, a little bit extra meaning to you because every extra game you got to play toward that, that goal was also one more game you got to catch passes to try to get to the, yes, to the personal goal. Yes, sir. Well, I knew, well, the goal was to win state, obviously. And um, I knew to get the receptions record, we'd have to go to state and I'd have to play consistently good and stay injury-free. Um, Thankfully, we had both, and um, it was a great year. I think you're a little humble saying you stayed injury-free. I'm looking at your hand right now, and it's still kind of wrapped up, and I know you played with a kind of a modified cast. Now, yes, you, you broke the hand against Alcoa in the regular season finale. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's right. What goes through your mind as you're in a big game like that, and yeah, did you know right away that you'd done something pretty bad to it? Yes, sir. As soon as I tackled the guy, I was on defense, I stood up, I was like, oh man, I broke my hand. I ran over to the sidelines and I taped it up and I went back in. And uh, I, I mean, it hurt bad, but I knew that for us to be successful in this game, I had to stay in, I had to keep playing. So I just told myself that this pain was going to be temporary and that I just had to fight through it, through this game, and we'd have to get through it, and then we could worry about it the next week. So you do get through it. Uh, didn't come out as well as you wanted to in in that game, but you knew that uh, you had the playoffs coming up. Yes, what what did the doctors say? Did they try to tell you that you just shouldn't do it, or what was the deal there? Uh, well, the doctor said that it was a bad enough break that I should probably uh, get pins put in it, and uh, I'd probably have to stop playing football, risk of um, infection and everything like that. So uh, they advised me to stop playing, but I said I had to keep playing, and they uh, so the other option was to put a cast on it and to uh, just continue to play and check it every week. And if the bone started shifting uh, or moving, then they would, have to, uh, they would have to go back in and do surgery and I'd have to be done. So um, it, was, it was a God thing, you know, keeping it in the place. And uh, I'm, very, I'm very thankful. So did you quit playing defense and go strictly to offense at that point or uh, not? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you kind of did, huh? So, yes, sir. Now, what, what's it, what was it like trying to learn? Because I'm sure it was almost like relearning a little bit, wasn't it? Because you couldn't catch exactly the same way, I wouldn't think. Yes, sir. Well, uh, with, I mean, with two good hands, you know, you kind of take for granted that you have two good hands. And so you can kind of, you know, not look the ball in all the way. But with, you know, with the cast on your right hand, you got to make you have to look at every ball like it was, you know, the, the game-winning ball. And, uh, and so you just it's just that extra focus you had to do on every single thing. And um, kind of a nuisance, but it's something you had to do. Now you guys continue on through the playoffs. You got Alcoa. That had to be kind of fun. Uh, you yes, you were one and one, but you got the one that counted. Yes, sir. Well, uh, we knew coming in that game that every time you play Alcoa, every time CAK and Alcoa play, it's always a great game. Always comes down to the wire. So we knew that we were going to have to do the little things right. And uh, I mean, at the end of the game, the two-point conversion where we stopped them, that was the turning point in the game. And um, so we made a play when it counted. Now you get to the to the finals against Milan. And uh, first half, that was quite a dang football game, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, we didn't want, offensively. We didn't do what um, we'd planned to do all week. Um, didn't start off on a great note. Um, in the second quarter, for the rest of the game, we uh, got back on track and we're, we're able to do some successful things, a lot like the last year. Um, and then we came out on top. Now, I was listening on radio. They seemed to indicate that people had a little checklist up in the stands, kind of checking off the catches to that national record. Yes, sir. Does that put extra pressure, or does it help you to kind of know where you're at? I mean, I, I didn't pay attention too much. I, I, I looked up in the stands and saw it a couple of times. I was like, oh, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I guess it was. I was so focused on winning the game that, I mean, when I when I did break the record, it was kind of cool because I heard the crowd and everything. But uh, I mean, I was still my over the overlying message was we have to win state first, and then after that you can worry about the record. So um, I was just so focused on state. Do you guys kind of feel like you've left a legacy here that has kind of put this program on a different level? 
Yes, sir. I think we have. I think it started with the teams that were before us, with the leadership they showed, and um, just you know how how they led and uh, what they would do and how we saw them lead. And so uh, they set the precedent for what we were able to come in into a great program with Coach Bradley um, and, be, and be able to be successful. Now you got another era, I guess, to get started next year. Uh, you want to play at the next level? Uh, yes, any uh, any secrets you want to let us in on here? Or are you still kind of looking around? Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to say something too, <laughs> too early, so I'll just leave it at I want to play football. So. All right, that's great. Well, we wish you the best of luck doing just that, and congratulations on your record and another state title.